Welcome back everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T. How are we all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's new song, Bozos, excuse me, Bongos. Ha ha. And I'm also going to be talking about Young Nudie's remix to Peaches and Eggplants with Lotto and Sexy Red. So, are you ready? Okay, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. So, um, I'm going to be talking about them both because they came out, I think they came out on like the same day, or like a day apart if they didn't come out on the same day, and they are like the same concept. Like, it's literally, like, they're interchangeable songs. One just has a better beat than the other. Uh, bongos is absolutely trash but I think I'm going to start with bongos first and then I'm going to get into young nudie so uh, let's start with bongos Cardi B and Megan these two are the representation of hard up and in need of a re-up because ain't nobody checking for Cardi or Meg more people are checking for Meg than Cardi and that's why Cardi had to call Meg up for a motherfucking feature like you know tell me that your shit is dried up without telling me that your shit is dried up like Cardi B yo lying ass just sat up there for Vogue Mexico and said oh I'm done with features like no more collabs only to come out with a fucking collab with somebody that you've already collabed with and we already knew what time it was. Like, if you teaming up with Megan Thee Stallion, you already know that, or we already know as people, the general public, that y'all about to come out with some more freak hoe music. Like, y'all ain't about to come out with nothing different, y'all, because y'all don't have it. Like, this video showed me just how one-dimensional uh, Cardi and Megan are. Because I just really thought to myself, you two, as women who, like, have had relationships, who have been through a lot, who have, you know, so much going on in your lives, you two don't have anything else to talk about? Like, people can run their mouth about Nikki, but Nikki has songs like Moment for Life, All Things Go, like, you know, Here I Am, uh you know pills and potions like there's so and many many more like really deep songs like that Nikki has done and really talked about like some real shit so with a uh, bed of lies you know like pink print really had a lot of like deep music you know dear old Nikki like you know the, the song about her reflecting on like the old her the new her like you you girls have nothing else to talk about than sex and this is really not me trying to compare them to Nicki. I am a Barb. I am a Nicki fan. I'm just saying. When I can think of a female rapper, like even Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, like they have sexual music, but they also do have songs where they're talking about like real shit. Like I don't think Megan has a song that goes as hard as It's Hard Being Wifey by Foxy Brown. Like, Foxy Brown was, like, dropping knowledge, really talking about something, really talking about, like, a real situation. Like, the way that she rapped on It's Hard Being Wifey was great because she really, like, does what Jay-Z is able to do. And that's uh, really, like, puts you in the scene that they're talking about. And you can start to, like, visualize it and you feel like you're there with them. Everything from the beat to to this the narration the lyrics like what foxy is talking about and like she's not just rapping like it's coming off as like her narrating and she's talking to the listener like she really is so she, and again dropping knowledge like jay-z be doing that you know nikki be doing that like so i'm not just trying to like compare them to one person because we all know like nikki is the you know she is the person you know she is the measuring stick to be compared to or to be measured up against but uh, there are other women who have done like really great things too. So, um, and other great rappers just in general. And it's like with these two, I just really wonder that. I'm like, wow, like, you know, especially for Cardi, because it's like, Cardi, you are a mom, you're a wife and a mom of two. You have like three stepkids. 
Like, you have a lot going on in your life. Megan, you claim you just got shot. All this stuff just happened to you. And you, after some, after your mother died, your grandma died, Tori shot you. Like, you've had traumatizing events, like, back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like, traumatizing events, you know what I'm saying, one after the other. And you still have it in you to talk about how you a freak ho and all of this sex and it's like and if you and the lines are so predictable like you guys are going to talk about how much money you have you're going to talk about birkin bags and chanel you're going to talk about how other bitches is hating on you trolling online playing on your head top you know how bitches is broke and bitches is old and bitches is washed and your coochie so good and you know where a man can finish and you know and how he can do it to you and how you can do it to him and (laughs) like lord jesus like deliver us from jezebel deliver us from isis deliver us from lilith deliver us from these street walkers deliver us from hakate and if you don't know the names that i'm mentioning because if you're not in the know you might be a little bit lost the names that i'm saying are names of pagan gods who these women are channeling and trying to be like that's why they're acting the way they're acting and you know sasha fierce and oshun or oshun and you know all of it deliver us because i'm tired like i'm tired of this this shit is exhausting and I'm just like you girls have got to get more creative and more dynamic and more original you have got to have more to talk about than you know just the same old same old this shit is like really tied and through and um you know Joe Budden has been dragging Cardi for her raps and all this other stuff but it's like come on like y'all knew y'all knew Cardi couldn't rap she never could like it is not and the thing about it is cardi b is so bad because even when she has good lyrics like the best she has ever sounded is on put me on the floor remix i know a lot of people like tomorrow too i don't really listen to that i don't like glorilla that much but and i don't really like lotto either but i liked cardi on bodak yellow and i liked her on um i liked i like I liked her on, yeah, I'm going to say that because I'm like, what other Cardi songs do I like? That's why I had to really pause. It's like Bickenhead was okay. Get Up 10 was okay. Like, I used to work at Yo Gotti's restaurant back in the Gap, and I heard a lot of her music there, and I was like, okay, like, you know, but I just can't get into Cardi's voice, and she can't enunciate well, but she did good on Put It On The Floor Remix. I'll give her that. But with this bullshit here, like, it's like, you never could rap, Cardi. Like, you have a heavy tongue, you have a thick accent, like, you can't rap. They say that you can't speak Spanish or English well. Like, you have to be good at one to be a good rapper. Like, part of being a good rapper is being able to be good with words. You have to be able to articulate, enunciate, pronounce. Like, you have to be able to, you know, and use them in a clever way. Like, you have to be a wordsmith. That's literally, like, what being a rapper is. And it's like, Cardi B is just not that. As far as Megan, Megan is just a one-trick pony. Like, she's still talking about the same old shit, still trying to throw disses and do little weird shit. And it's just like, Meg, like, you're washed. You're washed. Like, like, you, you, you are just the Rock Nation horse. They are making a check off of you shaking your ass. You are a highly paid stripper. Like, you are a show pony. All you do is bend over it. There is no reason why they have Megan in this video. Like they do way too often. Her bent over and the camera all in this girl's cervix and booty hole. It makes no sense. It's draining, it's tiring, it's tired, and it's through. Like... If I had a gavel, I would bang that shit like Kaya and sentence y'all both to 100 years behind motherfucking bars. And to never be able to touch a fucking studio again, I'm sick of y'all. Like, Megan, Cardi, y'all are washed, y'all are through. And, like, Megan, and the only way Megan can make a comeback is if she 
once again tries to change her style of music tries to get more original more creative but this like her music at this point is so mcdonald's it's so popcorn microwavable in and out hit it and quit it like super just bubble gum rap it's not it's not sticking like grits and i just i need it to stop i need megan to either change or stop i'm sentencing her to the same shit i sentenced uh what's her name to asian doll to you either change the kind of music you're making or you stop but you cannot go like you've been going because it's really really getting dry and itchy up in this hole because you fucking up and then i'm gonna move on to fucking eggplants and peaches by young nudie and lotto and sexy red you know sexy red is the one winning in this situation they definitely needed her young nudie needed uh, a remix with sexy red and lotto needed to be on a song with sexy red like i think young nudie is i know I, I don't really know the dude that well or his music that well i know he's quite popular i know lotto was kind of popular but i know lotto is still you know struggling to get to the top on some hike shit she really really that is she is the embodiment of that line nikki read her ass for filth like complete scalp that hole with that line because it's true lotto you are struggling to get to the top on some hike shit you want to be on top so 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 bad and lotto is a capricorn and i know some christians don't entertain astrology i think astrology has some truth to it I don't think we should worship it and believe it uh, all the way over Jesus, but I believe astrology, you can find patterns in astrology, and Capricorns do like to be on top and do want to be on top, and Lotto is like that, but in a very, like, dark way, because she just do too fucking much, like, okay, again, she reminds me of Cardi, there's a reason why her and Cardi fuck with each other so hard, they all thirsty and need a re-up, they all need a fucking re-up, like, What's her name? Lotto, again, Lotto, ain't nobody really checking for you like that. I just read you for filth for using um, 21 Savage for clout and, you know, you don't love that dude. You you trying to make a fucking bag. You trying to be on top. You trying to take Nikki's spot. Like, you you just, and you doing too much. You definitely needed Sexy Red. People are checking for Sexy Red. Sexy Red going on a solo tour. I've been saying she's shitting on y'all, and I'm about to do a video on how she replaced Glorilla. So, people are checking for Sexy Red. People are not checking for you, Lotto. Unless it's some beef or some drama or some ho shit going on with, like, some other raggedy-ass, you know, B-list, C-list fucking rapper or entertainer. Like, you're not really popping like that. You needed Sexy Red. That's why you made it a point to make sure that you was in like every single shot with her and you damn sure made it a point to be scarcely clad as you possibly could be in this video you know doing the fucking most they need to lock your ass up for how you assaulted them fucking eggplants and you know just doing the fucking most like as usual because that's what you about like you such a caricature you such a you know anything goes type of chick like you have no self-respect i just can't with you sexy red is doing her job for the illuminati um she's making hood rat music like her only chicks who really bump in her are hood rats like i fuck with like sexy reds come up to an extent like she's likable it's like this weird thing where like she's likable she has like this charisma about her but her image is completely raunchy and degrading and i can't really support the shit she represents because it represents black women poorly um but yeah sexy red was doing her thing of course making super sexual music and that's what she's all about you know another one trick pony and you know it, again it gets tiring the beat to peaches and eggplants was better than bongos bongos the beat was shitty and they, that's where it really flopped they could have got away with it if they would have had a better beat but they got this fucking raggedy ass you know cruise ship vacation twerk song beat and then they sat up there and had them fanna looking ass outfits a fucking mess it was giving it was definitely giving fanna commercial it was giving you know x-rated fanna it was ratchet and then lord knows peaches and eggplants was giving super x-rated um 
but the beat was better and thus it could be it has more potential to get spins i'm over it all both were whack rap is over rap is dead and you know it's pushing more than r&b but it's still so lame and just dry and repetitive like you already know what these songs are going to be about it's like how many times are we going to listen to the same song read the same book like that's what that's what hip-hop is nowadays it's just repetition like the songs are becoming interchangeable the artists are interchangeable it is so tiring and dry it's just a snooze fest and it's and it's despicable though because we're constantly seeing nothing but sex being pushed like to it's to like a gross extent it's starting to make me feel gross and uncomfortable like it's hard to even like watch these videos when I go to like coffee shops and stuff like that you know and I'm on my laptop like trying to work and stuff and I'm watching some of this stuff it's embarrassing to do it out in public because these videos are so raunchy you know so I'm like Lord deliver us because it's too much let's talk in the comments y'all bye